Hi and welcome back, I'm Michelle and in this episode we'll be making tiny little books which can be used with any D&D, Call of Cthulhu or even wargaming set. As ever, any questions please feel free to ask in the doobry down below or you can join my Discord, linkage to that is in the description for you. Right, enough of that, let's get to the makings of the books. First things first, I'm going to need a stamp. I don't want to write out lines and lines and lines of text, so I'm going to stamp it. I'm just using my ruler to create a straight edge, so when I stamp it will be amazing. It doesn't have to be perfect, but as you notice I am running against the corrugation. The corrugation is up and down in this way. I'm running across, because the corrugation, when it's all cut up will add more texture to the stamp which will look amazing again so now we have our pile of straight bits of cardboard we will bring them together in like a show and they don't have to be height wise it doesn't matter but as long as they all line up nicely like so they will print really well what i'll do is i will cut these in half so they're about mm, two inches or so now we could use hot glue but it dries too quick for this we need to be able to mush it and move it around so we get a nice even layer so pva glue is perfect for this what we want is this to be a flat surface so when we turn it this way it's completely flat and i can see that it isn't so i'm going to turn this over okay now you can see it's it's lovely and level just leave this to dry this is an oval wash brush for those who care i'm just going to use a little bit of black craft paint nothing too exciting just had a little bit of that gonna paint it on here cardboard is going to soak up a lot of this paint so So once this side is dry, what you're going to want to do is turn it over and repeat. Now it's nice and dry, we'll take our scissors and we will just trim off our bits. So we'll take our white card and on our palette we will mix together burnt umber, which is this one here, and black. We'll mix that together to create a very dark burnt umber. Make sure it's very liquid. You don't want it too liquid, but you don't want it too thick either. So. And we're going to paint this onto our thin card. I'm just coming in with a little bit of burnt umber just to add some texture and colour variation. Don't forget the edges. I'm going to take some of this stuff. This is the filler for toys and teddy bears and that sort of thing. You can buy it as a bag of soft toy filler or something, but this is great. So we're gonna take this and what we'll do, come over here and you can see here, this is called Naples Yellow. Uh, it's more of a skin tony color and I'm just gonna dab that in just a little. Take it over to the side, I won't show you this, and just rub it on the palette. And then I will dab this all over my leather. <laughs> I'm gonna take the fluff and I'm going to drag it and this will create a battered leather texture. As your cover is drying, we need to fold up our page. Our book is going to be a centimeter wide by a centimeter and a half long. So each fold in this book needs to be just under a centimeter. So if we're talking uh, millimeters, we would say about eight millimeters. And what I first will do actually is cut this in half. I don't need this length. So I'm going to cut it in half. If you have a little bit left over like I do, just trim it off, it's fine. Do the same for any other pieces that you have. This should be dry now, so we can cut things out and make things look good. We will mark one centimetre in and one and a half centimetres down. Draw these lines across. 
that mark there represents where the spine of the book is so that's a centimeter so our actual cut mark will be at two centimeters so this is one binding now to make sure that these bind properly we're not going to just fold them in half we're going to use the ruler to fold around next we will take our book pages slot them in and see how many of these we'll probably need. So we'll slot them in like so, and it looks to me like we're gonna need about four to make the whole thing look like a book. Open up the book, turn it sideways so you can see what's happening, and trim. Using PVA glue will mean that it spreads and pages will get stuck to the covers, but it just means when you open it, it looks kind of cool. <laughs> if you don't like that, then use a cocktail stick, and instead of putting the glue on the cover, Put it on the pages and then stick the pages in separately. I think they've come out really well. I really like these and they're going to make a perfect addition for my D&D &D and Call of Cthulhu games. If you have enjoyed this video or if you've learned a little something from it, please subscribe and hit that there bell to be notified when another episode is up. I'll see you next time.